Okay. I'm gonna talk to y'all about I'm gonna talk to y'all about Nintendo's news. Nintendo's bad news being pushed and made and made worse than it seems. Okay. We haven't heard this from every retailer, but just one. One 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 retailer have five hundred and fifty stores across the UK. And they say they're gonna stop to stop selling the Wii U. That's just one retailer out of a whole lot of other retailers. And to that, I was on online trying to find some good news for Nintendo. And every time I see an article about the Wii U, it comes up with this. And it seems like it's just being pushed everywhere. And, and, and it's making it worse on Nintendo. If developers see this, they're gonna just say, "Fuck this! We out on the Wii U. We don't want to create for the Wii U no more." Huh? UB, uh, Ubisoft and Activist are trying their best to help out, uh, help out the Nintendo Wii U with Sega, along with three games, for a deal. Yeah. What is the damage with the people in trying to make the Wii U look so bad that y'all want Nintendo just to give up and quit? Why y'all keep doing this? I swear to God. Right, y'all know what's gonna happen when Nintendo actually quits? Cause of all this bad news it keeps getting. If y'all even turn their, you know, y'all turn their good news into bad news, that's fucked up. And that's not even giving Nintendo an even chance. It's just give. It's it's just saying that Nintendo needs to go ahead and stop, stop. Even when good news come out for Nintendo, y'all make it look worse. And that's that's freaked up. Like when they when like. When they announced this, news on news on news articles flooded flooded up with us, and it will not stop. They everywhere you see Wii U is just canceled in one retailer out of so many others. They make it look like it's an awful bad thing, but it's only in one place. That's the UK. You don't see it, and you don't hear it. And there's more retailers in the UK, but you don't hear it in other places. Why that? Why that it, when it's little news like that gets gets turned into big news for Nintendo, and when little news like that for when and when PlayStation and Xbox get into bad news, y'all seem like it's no big dilly. When it's new, when, when Nintendo does it, it's it grows and grows and grows. You know what this is gonna do to the company? That basically breaking down the company with that mess. That mess, like like for real. And, if that's, and that, I'm gonna be hinting this out. When PlayStation 3 came out, it took 38 weeks to actually start moving. Actually, start moving. It took Nintendo Wii U 30, 33 weeks to start moving. 33 weeks to start moving. And, and even I turned that into bad news. Jeez. What is the what is the damage? Why are you people so messed up to Wii U that they really want this thing to go? Why they want it to really quit? They want Nintendo to actually be like everybody else, but that's just the thing. Nintendo don't want to be like everybody else. Nintendo wants to stay to themselves, literally and literally and literally. And when they keep pushing out news like this, it's just making it tougher on the company at hand. Sure, you can go ahead and say Nintendo is immune to this. But when news like this, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna affect the um, developers' decisions on the Wii U. And that's bad. That's basically breaking out the company. That means Nintendo have to work twice hard. The milk. Y'all already talking about they're already milking out their um, exclusives already like crazy. It's gonna make them work twice as hard to milk them out and make them more better. They ain't gonna stop until Nintendo finally says we're gonna quit the Wii U. We're gonna make a whole new, brand new system. Out of all that hard work we done done, we're gonna make a whole total brand new system. Well, I don't know. Oh, they are really working hard. They're actually caring about their fans. And sometimes they tend to have to go out the way what their fans say in order to produce something else. So it won't be repetitive. So people keep on making that as a, just making it bad as it seems. Like Nintendo was the company to be. Now every time the PlayStation and Xbox get 
you get all gory and praise. When Nintendo gets to the news, it's bad, gloom, doom, it's everything for them. I don't know what to say. How about let's leave the let's leave the articles as they is. Let's actually get the information before actually even posting it. It's not just going off what the people say. Let's get the actual info from ourselves. Then post the news. They haven't even given us a legitimate or official reason why they did this. All these news people just keep saying that it's discontinued. That's it. No reason. That's it. They go on to talk more about it just so they they can cover up. No reason. I think it's not fair on Nintendo. And y'all agree with this video. Y'all should know. Y'all should know what I'm getting at. It's not fair to Nintendo that their news get pulled down to the hell. Hell is it's in hell. Fire is doomed. To when Xbox and PlayStation, it's up to an extent and it's the best thing ever. And I swear to God, this happens. I swear to God, this is happening every day for Nintendo. With that said, I'm out. Can't wait for this game. I can't wait for this game industry just to close down like it did. And Nintendo's not going to say. I ain't gonna say that else.